All right, Mason, first just to work on our alternate picking. Down, up, 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 down, up. We're going to play a little bit of this Green Day song, Time of Your Life. When you're doing this stuff, really focus on your hand, which just does one motion, regardless of what rhythm you're playing. Down, up, 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 down, up. Avoid the tendency to do an extra big down or an extra up or behind the back or all that stuff because when the tempo gets a little bit faster, you're going to be limited with the extra motion. Your pick, if you're going to travel all the way up here, you got to come all the way back, you know, so we're going to keep try to keep it just in one spot. It's exactly the same stuff for 16th notes. We're playing a little bit of uh, G minor 7 chord, and we're going to do four 16ths in one beat. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we're just going to isolate each one of the four parts of that 16th note. So here's the first one. It's one E and a. Next is the E. Then and, 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 and finally, up, 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 up. Cool. Very important with this stuff to get your body moving just on the basic pulse because we're dividing the beat into four parts, and uh, without the, the beat to divide, what are we doing? <laughs> so make sure that you're getting your body involved and just playing the quarter note with by like tapping your foot so that when you're dividing that into whatever, it's for real. And that's really important. For an example of that, uh, check out anybody who plays music because that's pretty much across the board for everybody. Cool, man. Sounds great, dude. We'll see you next time. Thank you.